Hello there. <laughs> My name is Andrew Michael. I am a real estate agent here in Northeast Florida. And today we are in the master plan community of Silverleaf inside of a smaller community that's part of the master plan community of Silverleaf called Oak Grove. Now this community, if you're not familiar with it, is built exclusively by David Weekly Homes. They're a national builder and definitely a higher end builder than some of the other ones in this community. And I think you'll see that when we go through. But yeah, we're gonna tour and this one is currently available for sale. So if you have any interest, if it's uh, throw a comment down below, give me a call, shoot me a text, and I'd be more than happy to help you with that. So let's go inside and take a look at it. So here is your, uh, your front porch, which is really nice. Some of the neighbors here, uh, they actually, it's a few people have moved in. There's not too many homes that people have moved into yet, but the few that have, I've seen a few put chairs and um, coffee tables and stuff there in the middle. So it's, it's kind of a nice thing to do. Definitely in the fall or the winter. Don't know if I'd sit out there in the summertime. At least not for very long. All right. So a couple things I love about this builder is one, high ceilings, two, natural light, and three, some of the higher end um, touches that they do. So I'll start showing you that here in a minute. But this is the first bedroom. Uh, you've got two windows over here, so it gives it really nice natural light. There you go. That's a closet, obviously, over there. Now, check out this bathroom. So this would be for your guests. You have, looks like a quartz. That tile's pretty cool. And then look at this. You got a uh, herringbone pattern for the shower walls. You the tile for the shower floor, so pretty neat. So what do you think of that? Uh, do you like the way it's laid out? And by the way, too, if you, this house is already built obviously for a buyer, but yeah, if you wanted to build from scratch, they have homes available here and you could pick out all your own stuff. You can change the floor plan around and you know, all kinds of stuff. So let me know if that's something you want to do. Now we used to call this a study, but now we call it a flex room. So what some people would do is enclose this right here, put in maybe French doors, make it an office. Uh, in our house, we have a similar uh, room here. So we, it's basically the kids toys. It's a kids toy area. So they have to play with their toys in there. We ask them not to take it around the house. Now, do they listen? Yeah. All right. So most people would turn this into a drop zone. So you put a bench, put some b-board or something there and some hooks for backpacks. That's what a lot of people would do there. This is the laundry room. In this particular home, it's uh, not much there. All right, so this, now we've got the garage. Two-car garage. Nothing fancy or special there, so we'll just move on. And I'll just kind of show you the parts of the house we've seen, so hopefully you're not getting confused. So there's the front door. We walked through here. That's where the bedroom and bathroom was. Here's the flex room. And then here's our garage, laundry room, and then drop zones over there. All right. So let's walk into the living area. So here is your dining room. Again, I love all these windows here because they give you lots of light. And they're higher up, so privacy is not as much of an issue. It's got a wrap around lanai. We'll see that last when we get down with the first floor. And I love the kitchen here. They've got blue down here. The quartz has a interesting kind of gold uh, vein in it. And of course that matches the faucet, which is also gold. There you go. Now this would probably be for your Keurig or whatever coffee situation you have. That's what most people put there. Let me show you that backsplash. There you go. And then you've got your pantry. One year room uh, for a family, in my opinion. All right. So the property line on this one goes to the fence and it does wrap around. So after we get down to master, I'll show you that. So here you go. This is like your living room where your couch, TV, you know, all that kind of stuff would go. Now 
Now, if you're looking for a master down, other bedrooms uh, or uh, two bedrooms up, this is a good one. All right, so here is your vanity, or excuse me, your um, sinks, vanity, yep, yeah, there you go. All right, so here is your closet. It's pretty big. Again, I don't think my, uh, it's a room of, uh, it's the size of some small houses, some small bedrooms and houses. So here is the tile they chose. And again, if you don't like their options, it's not a big deal. You could just pick your own if you built from scratch with them. There you go. They did not do the rain head shower on this one, but I've seen it on a lot of their other homes, so they definitely can do it. All right, so let's go check out the lanai. I always love a good lanai. Um, especially like it when it has good flow between like the kitchen, the dining area and out here. Cause if it's, you know, if it's a time of year where you want to go outside, you've got, um, what do you call it? Yeah. I mean, it's got a good flow. So you, you know, on the, when it's cooler, it's a nice day. You may want to eat outside. All right. So here you go. So the lanai wraps around. My suggestion would be to screen this in <laughs> if, if you buy the house or any house here for that matter. There you go, it kind of goes around in a, uh, an L shape. Now right here is a gas stub. So if you wanted to put like a summer kitchen here, like a grill along with, um, you know, like a granite countertop, maybe you can, uh, like a little fridge, you know, stuff like that. You could set all that stuff up out here. So, all right. So we've all been all through the downstairs. Let's go on upstairs. All right, so here we go. So once we come up on this particular home, you have a, uh, a large landing here at the top of the stairs. I believe you could turn this into a bedroom. I think I've seen this one like that before. So it's a pretty good size. Let's come over here in the corner. Let's take a look. There you go. There you go. So here is the AC unit. Sometimes people ask me what kind of units they have here. And so I am showing you, it's a carrier. All right, so let's keep walking. And we have a full bathroom up here, similar tile to the, um, to what we had in the, the smaller bathroom downstairs, not the master. Saving the bedroom to my left for last for a reason. I'm going to show you the Northeast Florida answer to the basement, since we don't have them here underground. Does that mean we can't have them? I'll show you in a minute. By the way, this is a bedroom that's a closet over there. These are really good sized rooms, especially for like secondary or for kids rooms. go. So here we are, and I'm going to show you a Florida basement. So here we go, here's the closet. Let's come on in here. Oh. So here we are. I am standing in a Florida basement. It's not really the attic. Um, the attic is above the garage, in case you were wondering, usually. I'm not sure about this home but most of them it's above the garage. This is an extra storage space that they opted. It's an upgrade with this builder and they, op they, uh, they opted to do it on this one. So here you are, you are in a Florida basement. <laughs> so there you go. So what do you think of the Boswell? Uh, throw your comments down below. 
If you enjoyed it, uh, go ahead and click on the thumbs up. I greatly appreciate that. And if you're looking to make a smooth transition to Northeast Florida, you can give us a call, shoot us a text, whatever works best for you. We're definitely here to help facilitate that. And last but not least, if you want to watch more videos on the master plan community of Silverleaf, uh, we are in the process of putting up videos on everything you could ever want to know. You want to talk about schools, you want to talk about retail, like where do you buy your groceries, where Starbucks, we've got all that. So be sure to check out those videos. My name is Andrew Michael. Thank you very much for your time, and I look forward to meeting you in person. Bye-bye.